Hello, beautiful friends. This is Erica with Crystal Rose Insights and Conscious Alchemy 1111. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Super excited and honored that you're here and I'm looking forward to doing this reading for you guys today on the collective Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energies. Um, we're actually going to be doing a pick, a pick a deck reading today. I don't know why I haven't done one in a while like this, but I felt drawn to doing this this way where... Um, what we'll, we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what's happening in the dynamics between you and your divine counterpart in the relationship. And the idea is that you pick whichever deck you're most drawn to and then um, see the messages that come through. Now, sometimes the messages will overlap for all of the three. It kind of depends. Um, sometimes people watch these and they find that there are, it's like they get a little bit of out of every, every each of the stacks, which is great also, because again, this is how, however your, the messages resonate for you, um, that is the weight spirits way of bringing you the information. So we're going to take a look at what's happening in the dynamic of divine masculine, divine feminine. And then, um, I am going to do an extended reading over on my website where we'll go a lot more in depth into these scenarios including how you know specifics on how they're relating to each other what the guidance is um, what they're currently working on that kind of stuff what they're thinking and feeling about each other so I'm actually gonna do it's gonna be kind of a probably a pretty big extended reading because we're doing three scenarios but felt like doing it this way today and was guided to so kind of shake things up a little bit and keep them fun and interesting so with that, also, uh, just a huge thank you to those of you guys that have been writing me emails and comments about how much you've loved the extended readings that I do. It really touches my heart that you guys take the time to communicate with me about how they have been supporting you on your journey and um, the fact that, that they've helped you really see things and stay kind of connected to your truth. So, which is what this journey is all about, is really connecting to your inner knowing. So, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Also, those of you that are doing private readings with me, those of you that are donating to my channel, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Each and every one of you. Um, it means the world to me, and it makes me just feel really good about the work that I'm doing here to support all of you. And, um, and also to support you in a bigger way than just by doing you know the readings here on YouTube but also to go more in depth and to be able to reach more of you because my my personal reading schedule is very limited and um, this is my way of being able to get you more in-depth info um, in the meantime so with that I am gonna get started here so if you want some information on how to book with me and all of that is um, and a link down below, it'll take you to my website where you can order the reading. It kind of tells you the different types of readings and all that. So, um, also, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, I do have a Crystal Rose Insights over there is my Instagram handle. And I do readings over there that I don't do here. So, if you haven't checked me out there, please do. And also, if you haven't seen the Zodiac readings for 2019 for love, um, do go check these out on the channel as well. So... Let's get started. So let's see what's going on with this particular group of twins here. And I don't like to say twin twins as much. I don't like to say it. But let's see what's going on with this particular group of the collective. Let's say that. Divine masculine, divine feminine. Because you have the divine masculine, divine feminine within you, regardless of whether you are what you would consider a twin flame or not. So... Um, I don't want to limit these because this might, my work is far beyond just twin flame work. Um, and so I want to start making sure that I communicate appropriately relating to that. Okay, so let's see what's going on here with these guys. And I'm not reading reversals until my spirit asks me to. So we're getting the Three of Pentacles, the World card, and the Star card. Sorry, Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we're getting the Four of Swords. So, so this is an energy of taking a little bit of time out, taking time to recharge. Someone or both of you could be in this energy of just needing to take a bit of a mental break. Um, 
you've been going at it in your lives and thinking about things and working through things and it's just time to kind of recharge so you may not be in um, very much communication right now necessarily but this is the energy here that's coming in at the bottom for this particular group but it does feel like there's some something um, that's just happened here recently where one or one or someone in the dynamic here is not telling you what's going on they're not they're being very guarded they may not be telling you very much about what's going on with them so again with the four of swords and the four of pentacles here it just does feel like there's some someone's been withholding potentially some information um, but like not not for a bad reason it's just more of like a self-care because it's part of this it's, it's an energy of stability because these are both fours so there's something about making sure that they're stable um, physically as well as mentally um, as, as the reason why that someone may not have been communicating um, and not having a lot to give okay so there could be someone going that's going through something where there's a lot of um, just a lot of people tugging at you and so there's just not a lot of spare space or spare time or spare energy to give to somebody else but the current energy here is the world so something is completing something is coming to a completion someone might not be communicating what is coming to completion here because they're probably worn out which is why they're needing they are worn out which is why they're needing to recharge they're keeping things close but the, the current energy is an energy of something ending a chapter in their lives ending coming to the end of the journey in, in, in one area of their life so that is the current energy and what's coming in here is the star card so this is about being very hopeful um, wishes coming true this is stars aligning um, so whatever is ending here it's a really really positive and beautiful thing so um, we are but somebody just might not know about it so if you're not in communication with your counterpart you may not be aware of this happening but energetically maybe you're feeling it um, so yeah let's um I'm actually gonna pull some clarifiers here and there's an ace of swords underneath this true so someone's got some clarity here some truth that's caused them to kind of feels like they've just they've just won a battle against their de their inner demons potentially right their thoughts their old heartbreak um, and they've got this clarity so I'm gonna pull clarifiers clarify this for four of pentacles yeah so it's about a decision someone's not communicated not giving it up not telling you what's going on they're very guarded um, about either a choice they've just made a decision that they need to make or that they're in a stalemate and maybe because they're in a stalemate they're not communicating until they know it's like all or nothing so that could be going on here for some of you and let's clarify the world so the world is getting the Empress here so definitely a very fertile time for this to be happening it's like there's a lot of um, connection here it feels like the divine feminine energy has been really pulling the divine masculine towards her so this certainly could be the energy of like it's just it's time and it's a ripe time for this completion to happen okay so it could be that the divine feminine in this scenario has just completed some sort of a cycle or that she's standing there waiting for her divine masculine to complete his again being a general reading it can be either way so let's see here for the star card what does that refer to the queen of pentacles so you know whatever is completing there is this energy here of making sure that somebody's doing things in a kind way like the queen of pentacles is somebody who is very practical and grounded but she's also very nurturing so where they're getting a lot of the nurturing energy here with the empress and the queen of pentacles so there is kindness here so if something's ending or something's needing to be healed as a result of this ending it's it's that this person is wanting to take care of it in a way that is very um, kind so if there's a relationship ending they're wanting to do it in a good way they're not wanting to just cut it off and you know not not be kind and understanding in the way that they're doing it okay so well that is the first scenario here I'm gonna move these guys over okay 
let's move on to the second deck here. So this is the Morgan Greer I just used, and then this is their Radiant Rider Weight, and then this is the New Mythic Tarot. If you guys are wondering, I use these cards all the time. So let's get a sense of the second group here. I'm going to put these here so we have more space. So let's see what's going on with these guys. And again, I'm not going to read reversals unless Spirit tells me to keep it that way, and sometimes they do. Seven of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Eight of Cups. So right off the bat, it feels like with this group, there's something happening where someone is in the process of taking action. Someone is in the process of taking, they're aligning, they're ready to move forward, they're ready to go forward where they want to go. Um, they have been kind of, it's like it's go time I'm hearing, they're like it's go time. Okay, so there's been this energy of gestation, of waiting, of trying to wait for things to be the right time, and it's like, boom, it's time now. So whatever this is for either Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, it's go time. And for me, it looks like this is about walking away from something. So it could be that this has been brewing for a while for this particular group where there's, you know, it's like it wasn't the right time to leave this relationship, it wasn't the right time to leave, and all of a sudden now it's time, okay? So that's what this really feels like here. Um, and again, could be Divine Masculine, could be Divine Feminine. But this is the progression of the energies here. So the Seven of Wands, they've been having to defend themselves. They've been in, picking their battles. And it does feel like there's some, there's definitely this energy of conflict here, spiritual conflict, um, of just knowing that it's almost like they were waiting for the green light from the universe. And the universe is like, light's now green. It's no longer red. It's not stop. It's like, okay, go time. So it does feel like they've been in this energy where they're trying to pick their battles and not necessarily give energy to things that don't matter because also the seven of pentacles can be an energy of, of like, did I waste my energy? Is this going to be worth it? I'm going to see the, the harvest as a result of my work. I don't know yet. I haven't seen evidence yet, but it, to me, it just really feels more like they've been standing their ground and just know they could be standing their ground with you um, about like, no, when it's the right time, I'm going to do this because I want to do it in the right way. But there's definitely, this is go time for this segment. This is very clear. But I'll pull a clarifier for each here regardless. So let's see for the chariot. Let's get a clarifier for the chariot, please. It's almost like I don't need the clarifiers, but I'll pull them anyway just to be fair because I've done them with the others. Here it is again, Queen of Pentacles. Didn't I just say want someone wanting to do it in, a, in the right way, in the kind way? Yep, Queen of Pentacles energy. So again, this go time is going to be done in a kind and understanding way. Okay. Um, and wanting to make sure that everything's taken care of. You know, everything's good. Everybody's got enough. That nobody's going to be left with you know, no home or whatever. It's, it's just, this is just very much like it's time. It's time and I've, it's what has to happen. Let's see what this eight of cups is. Yeah. Cause they're not living their life the way that they are wanting to. The judgment card is clarifying this walking away. This is about, I'm making the changes in my life to go towards my ultimate fulfillment and my happiness. So, um, this particular scenario feels a lot, uh, very clear to me. <laughs> Um, so I'm, oh, and at the bottom of the deck, I didn't pull one for them, but let's see what's there. Oh, here's the Ace of Wands. Yeah. And the Ace of Cups. Holy cow. I'm not going to keep going just because I'd be here forever. Oftentimes when I start that process, they'll give me like 10 cards and then it's this entire story that weaves together and we don't have time to get into that much depth here today, but definitely this particular group, it's go time to move towards living the aligned life with this passionate beginning of emotional fulfillment. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. I mean, wow. Okay, let's move these over and we're gonna go to the third group now. 
And it is interesting to see the common threads because, again, it's the collective. There are themes that come up consistently. If you guys watched my last two videos, it's like almost the same exact message came through because it's such a, like, the energies are super clear in that particular seg those particular segments. But let's see what's going on with this group. Because remember, in the extended, I'm going to go into more details about what's happening here, specific to the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine in each of these scenarios. So we'll kind of get a sense, and we'll get into the union energies and all that. But this is just to get a sense of what's happening here. And give you guys the chance to be able to get more in depth, because chances are one, at least one of these will resonate for you. Uh, maybe all of them. Okay, so let's get three on this next final group here. Seven of Wands. Wow. Five of Wands and Temperance. All right. So right away, what I'm feeling is with this particular group, there is somebody that is totally having a lot of heated battles and conflicts. So this is somebody who um, is standing their ground having to defend themselves this is picking your battles but they're in the current energy of five of wands it's like it's like they have things that they want in their lives and it's not going together so this is the energy i'm feeling with this dynamic it's like to me this feels like the stage before these stages here okay this is almost like you're discovering that there's this connection and there is a desire to move forward in the connection, but how in the world you're going to move forward in the connection, how it's going to happen, what it's going to look like, what is it going to, it's like you're, you're fighting the battles right now and you, it's, you're being, you're conflicted. You're like, I want this partnership, but it might mean ending a significant relationship or I don't, I have too much going on and they don't go together. Because it's about bringing in this spiritual awakening. It's about patience. Um, this is part of the integrating of some significant spiritual lessons that comes through this. Like I'm getting the image of somebody who's like hot, 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 like the coals on the ground. And they're like, ah, it's like hot on my feet. It's hot on my feet. Yeah, the universe is going to turn that up until you get the heck off the coals. Like this is what this is, is feeling like to me. Um, but then part of that is the spiritual growth that comes from, from this process. So definitely like what's coming in for this group is like, okay, um, through what's been awakening, it's like, it's like this, this group, someone has now really seen the truth and they're trying to figure it out and they're trying to figure out what this all means. All right. So let's see, I'm going to get clarifiers here. Please clarify the seven of wands. Here we go, the King of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So someone's overwhelmed. Someone who is feeling things very deeply and it's causing this overwhelm. They're not communicating it necessarily. Um, they're trying not to let their emotions get the best of them, but they are overwhelmed and they're fighting, fighting, fighting these battles. They're bearing the responsibility. So, you know, this feels like this, this could certainly be the Divine Masculine, although it doesn't have to be because it's not not specific to the king it has to be the divine masculine it's it's just that there is someone who is overwhelmed by the depth of their emotion okay and it's causing them to have this conflict here okay but that's the awakening process that will lead to the spiritual growth so what's this uh five of wands please clarify the five of wands Yeah, so certainly could be a lot of work. This conflict could be work-related in terms of work is taking up a lot of your time or energy. Uh, or for somebody here, it also could just be that this is about needing to work hard at figuring this out. Again, the spiritual work, the spiritual growth, trying to figure it out. Um, again, it, for some of you, it definitely could be a lot of work in the career. Like you'd be overworked and because you're working so hard, working so hard, it's like you're pushing the emotions to the side because the emotions are overwhelming. So someone in this dynamic could be very well be like, I can't deal with this right now emotionally. I just have to like, I, I just have to like conserve my energy because it's just too much. Um, so that definitely could be going on. Um, or, or it could be that also that 
right now someone in the dynamic is really working hard to figure this out to get out of the five of wands to figure out which of these which of these priorities matter so please clarify the temperance card please yeah this is interesting that three just jumped strength justice high priestess whoa all right Look at all these major arcanas here. All right, so what's happening in this scenario? This scenario is like, this is the what, the, what the F is going on in my life right now? This is the, it's almost like you've been hit over the head and you're dizzy going, what the hell have I just been hit with? But it's, it's, ne it's this is that spiritual like, hit you over the head because you have to wake up and we're going to help you through this process. Because look at all these major arcanas here in the energies that are coming. So what we've got here is we've got truth, we've got strength, we've got forward movement after this temperance energy. So this is about wanting to move forward and also being in alignment, okay? Because the chariot doesn't move forward until there's an alignment. The, the inner world and the outer world has to align. So the forward movement here, it's like until it clicks, it can't move forward, okay? And so it's, in the, it's needing to click and it's not quite there yet. But there is this knowledge here, the spiritual truth, some of these things that are being hidden, revealed, and some secrecy, but not in like a bad way. Um, but this is about also ex exhibiting strength and could, of course, and wanting to do the right thing. So certainly this could be that this for some people could mean ending a marriage because of the justice card here. Um, and if it's not a marriage, it just could be that wanting to do the right thing and needing to do the right thing not letting your fears get the best of you because you're getting nudged intuitively here. Someone's getting nudged, but this is like, yeah, it just feels like this is spirit's way for this particular dynamic here to be like, all right, you're in all of this conflict. Something's got to give and you got to learn from this and you're going to learn and all this other beautiful, massive spiritual energy is going to come to you as a result because you've been living in the three, third dimension way too long <laughs> all right guys well those are the three scenarios i'm really interested to see what comes in here um for the dynamic and um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go record those what we're going to look at in each of the extended readings i'm going to take these scenarios and I'm going to look at where's the divine masculine in this scenario? Where's the divine feminine? What's going on in the union energies? How are they relating to each other? What is the guidance from spirit for each of them? Okay, so I'm actually going to do those, those readings over there and those videos over there. So um, I think with that, the link is going to be down below. I hope that this has been helpful. Um, I'd love to know in the comments, guys, if... If you really resonated with one of the scenarios or if all of them were really speaking to you in different ways, because of course I'd love to hear how Spirit has worked this reading in particular, because this was like, okay, no, just do it this way today. And I said, fine, okay. So I'd love to hear in the comments how, um, if it was just one that really stood out for you, if it was the card deck you pulled, um, or if it was kind of a little bit of all three kind of a thing. So with that, guys, I send you so much love. And for those of you coming over the extended, I will see you over there. Until next time. Bye.